Hello everyone, my name is Brett, and sometimes I wear a beret, and today I'd like to talk to you about Nerf grenades. I made a WikiHow video about this not long ago, and it started with some other things that WikiHow pointed out, but I've also fell in love with when I was very early into the nerfing game. This is a foldable frisbee. You put darts inside, and then it opens up and your frisbee disappears and your darts go poof. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Simple, fun, and it <laughs> holds a dear place in my heart because there was nothing else really that existed as a Nerf grenade officially until this started hitting the market. The T238 LBT uh, Nerf grenade. We saw them on like Litake, NF Strike, and it's pretty simple. You pull the pin, I'm missing the key ring on the top here, but you would pull the pin here and then when this hits the ground, it impacts, jostles this and the flaps open like that. And then things go everywhere. Uh, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't because if it's, face, uh, if it's down like this, then the projectiles will come out at you. But if it falls on its side, they may not. But I mean, it was pretty cool. And for about $20, this was not an unreasonably priced thing. Uh, it's of course made of plastic and that's a bit concerning to throw at someone, especially if you're throwing them at their face, which you should not do, and you probably shouldn't throw this at other people as well. But as a official like Nerf grenade, this was about as close as we got. And then they um, and they said, yeah, well, we'll make that in clear too. And I, I like the clear. You can actually see your uh, ammo if there is any inside. And then I suppose my favorite that came from this, which I definitely got and forgot to make an official review video for, or just didn't get to. <laughs> this is the version two T238 grenade. And why I like this one is because while these can be a bit questionable for game usage, because if you allow them, well, can you like literally just throw them? Can you just only, only underhand them? Do you require a um, um, maximum distance that people can throw them? Well, this one actually gives you options because with this one being delayed, delayed, there we go. Wow, that's still loud. There's something else you can do with this instead of just throwing this at people. You can roll this on the ground and after a while it would open up and poof. It may not again go in the direction you want to, but because the flaps open to the side and not vertically up in one direction, this actually gives you a higher chance of it hitting people on the ground. Like from this position, obviously only one or two flaps may open in the direction you want and the other may open into the ground. But hey, you can also just leave this somewhere, pull the pin and it'll go off. That's cool. And then this is an adjustable screw that I think you can now buy um, from NF Strike or other places. Uh, AJ, my friend AJ gave me this one and because normally it just came with a set screw that you'd have to adjust by hand after a while. Uh, but you can adjust how long you want the delay to be or if you want it to be really quick, just like that one. And you throw it and poof, instantaneous almost. Maybe not so good if you're trying to get it away from you. But I like this one. This one is pretty awesome and I think you can buy all of these, all of these, these three, from outofdarts.com, and I think they're all the same price. So I would recommend this one. It's a little fatter than these guys, but it gives you some pretty good options for how to use it, and I think the little channels here give you some more room for miscellaneous types of ammo. And I think there's actually some use you can use uh, for games compared to these ones, which I understand why some people might be a little skeptical of their usage. So what have I been delaying to? Why, Brett, what's the title of this video and why haven't you gotten to that one? Well, because those, even if you're not really sure if you want to use this kind of uh, quote unquote nerf grenade in a game, I just explained there might be some ways, but I understand if you don't want to because it is still hard plastic. You're not throwing darts at someone, you're throwing this. So how about something that has absolutely no place in a nerf game, even though when NF Strike reached out to me and asked if I wanted to review this hot new product because it'd be perfect for nerf games, they said, yes, it's our new flash boom. And that's what I'm gonna call it because on my email correspondence from NF Strike, they just kept referring to it as the flash boom. And I like that better than flash bang because it sounds more fun and I don't know, game friendly, toy friendly. 
The official name for it is T238 flash bomb grenade with battery. Yellow. Um, that's yellow. That's yellow. This is orange. Good job, guys. And as it says, it does in fact come with a battery as well. That's right. This is a lights and sound flash boom, flash bang grenade pretty much that is meant to, oh, what do I want to call it? Incapacitate your opponents. This is meant to launch projectiles and tag people out. You know, darts hit you. This is meant to blind you and deafen you. And if you have any problems with strobing lights, oh, I'm sure it'll do even more than that. It does what it is intended to do. And I'm not gonna actually set it off here. I've set it off at my apartment once, and I will not do it again because it is awful for this place. It has no place in my apartment. It has no place at a general Nerf game. Bad, you're bad, don't do that. Um, but I have, I have tested it a little bit and I'll show you some of those at the end of this video. So if you don't want to see that, don't worry. You just have to avoid the end and I will let you know when. Now, I understand that there are games all across the world that have different fields and they have uh, different um, kinds of, what do I wanna say? Different kinds of blasters, different kinds of gear that you're allowed to use, uh, which is great and that's what makes all of our locations so different and cool. And in some places you can use like, you know, actual smoke bombs and cover the field with that because you have a private field. For a public game, this is also a no-go. Maybe on a private field or where everyone can agree that it's able to be used, that's gonna work all right. But in general, just for a classic common game of you know nerf blasting, fun for the whole family, this has no place. Especially during the day, this will serve no purpose. Like I said, if it's a lights and sound grenade, the point is to disrupt your vision and to disrupt your hearing, that is kind of against rule one for most of our games. And if you don't believe that to be true for your games, I would love to talk to you. It just has no place. And I don't like that they tried to make it in our place, it's bad. Let me, okay, let me talk more about the grenade itself. It takes a lipo. That's a bit concerning. Um, it is decently housed up here where it says T238 is where the screw port is. You open that up, make sure to take the screw completely out. It's a pretty cheap screw. You pull this tab off and there is your space for the LiPo. I'm not gonna plug this in. Do not be dumb, Brett. You will regret it. There's, a pretty thin channel in there for your lipo. You can, yeah, there it goes. You can fit it in well, and then you'd plug it in, close it all up and put the top back on. And I'm not gonna do that because I'm lazy. Uh, also, it takes a minute to fiddle around with everything. And I don't wanna squish the lipo for obvious reasons. Now, when that is fully installed and you put the top back on, then how would you operate it? Well, like the other ones, you pull the pin and this just, springs open. Once this springs open, like the other ones, they don't spring. This, I mean, it slowly opens like that, but you can easily stop it. With this one, I mean, if you barely let go, oh shoot, it, there it goes. Once this is released, this starts beeping. And when I mean beeping, I mean, it basically has like a small countdown that doesn't say how long it's gonna go for, but there's like little green lights around this ring here that are in a sense the countdown of get ready here it comes and then it goes off and boy what a treat that was to set it off in a dark room very confined and it was mm, it was a joy a joy for me to behold and i thought my fire alarm was going off my smoke detectors i should say this is loud this is really really loud and obnoxious when i saw the testing footage from this i knew that these were going to be bright and uncomfortable in a dark room, that's exactly what they do. In a bright field, not, not so much, especially if it rounds the corner. It's not gonna like blind you through a wall. No, I mean, these are obviously worse in dark conditions, but meh. This is the worst part of it, in my opinion. It sounds like your smoke detector is going off and it just will not stop. In order to actually make this stop, 
um, to stop the entire sequence of flash booming, you have to reinsert the pin. You don't, you can't just close it back up like this and hold it with your hand. You need to close it and put the pin back in and you do not have much time to make that happen. So pretty much if you throw this anywhere and someone else doesn't have a pin, which they wouldn't, you're done for. Um, do I like also that there's a lipo in this when you throw it? Like if I drop this from 20 feet onto a concrete surface, would I be concerned? Um, I mean, obviously I'm a little concerned because there's a lipo inside, but I'm not too concerned about the lipo getting damaged first. I think other parts of this would get a little bit damaged before that lipo. Still, I'm not a huge fan of that battery, but it's uh, <laughs> not my main concern, I suppose. At the price point, it's almost twice as expensive as these other items that, as I keep mentioning, I actually see a use for. So it was expensive and it's not really useful. For all of us who actively engage in Nerf combat-y goodness, uh, I think it's important that we understand what products are coming to the field and which ones are appropriate to let slide. Um, you know, new blasters that come out, new kinds of darts, because, you know, a lot of places nowadays don't allow for hard tip darts for good reasons. And if you're not aware that hard tip darts exist, that's kind of a problem because then someone shows up and you're like, oh shoot, you're hitting like the same FPS that all of us allow, and that's actually kind of painful for some people, especially for small kids who didn't expect it. This is kind of one of those as well. If people don't know that Nerf uh, grenades exist, like the previous T238 versions, uh, and you throw it at them, that's a bit dangerous, so it's good to disclose that maybe some are going to be used during the day, or disclose that they are not going to be allowed. And so for someone to, like, say, try and sneak one of these onto the field for whatever reason, it's just not okay, in my opinion. But, you know, that's just an opinion, a nerf opinion. In closing, I just want to obviously say be responsible at your games, whether you're just a player, whether you're someone who's organizing, uh, know that this thing is probably not recommended. And there could be a completely reasonable game mode that you have where this would be cool in a dark area where everyone is okay with it and they're aware that something like this might be thrown, might be used. It is still plastic, so you might not want to have it thrown at people like at eye level height. Be careful, please, because as uh, people look for new and fun things to use in games, and they look to other hobbies like, you know, say Airsoft, I'm, I'm sure they have a lot more uh, throwables like, you know, smoke grenades and uh, flashbangs to this nature. This might be great for Airsoft. I don't know. I don't play Airsoft. They may have things that you try to translate over directly to Nerf and that will not work for many reasons. So be careful and ask before doing. Be safe, have fun. In my opinion, this is not fun. I don't see any fun value out of this. But if you want to buy it, it's available from NF Strike for about $40 or whatever price reduction is going on today, because that's how it works. Anyhow, my name is Brett, sometimes I wear a beret, and I'll show you now some footage of me using this. I shouldn't stab that. That is all for today. Thank you everyone for watching, and I will see you later.